Well, it is time now for In the Garden with Carrie Hefner of the LSU Ag Center. Today, we are talking about blossom and rot. <laughs> Carrie, thank you for joining us. Interesting topic, isn't Very it? Very interesting. Sounds like it. Yeah, so vegetable gardens are in and, and tomatoes uh, are starting to come in. And a lot of gardeners I'm seeing both here in the community and in other places around the state on social media are having problems with a very common problem with tomato plants, but this is called blossom end rot. And here's a picture of what we're talking about. So if you're growing tomatoes in your home garden, this is what blossom end rot looks like. There you can see on that picture, the last remnants of the flower are still hanging on. And we say that's the bottom of the fruit, but really that started out as the top of the flower. That's what eventually becomes of the ovary of the flower. And so the blossom end is where the floral parts were attached and that black watery lesion starts to form. And we now know uh, that this is a calcium issue. Calcium is either deficient or it's unavailable. And we'll get into the difference between calcium deficiency and unavailability in just a second. And we know calcium is important for plant growth. So this gets into an important situation for gardeners when a lot of their fruit are coming in with blossom end rot. Now, first of all, calcium deficiency simply means that calcium is one of the elements that is, def is it's in insufficient quantity, I should say, in soil. And this is best determined by a soil test. The LSU Ag Center Soil Lab can tell you exactly where your soil stands in terms of calcium and other elements. And there are several ways to add calcium if calcium is uh, insuffic at insufficient levels in your soil. You can add lime calcium carbonate, but you wanna make sure you be careful with this because lime will raise the pH of your soil up a little much for tomatoes. You can also add non-liming agent, uh, agents that still contain calcium, calcium sulfate or calcium nitrate, which we recommend side dressing with about every three weeks. Now, if calcium is there per the soil test results and is simply not available. This could be due to several factors, namely inconsistent watering. Uh, the soil pH is off. We know calcium is available to plants throughout a broad range, uh, a, a broad pH scale, but uh, tomatoes generally prefer acidic soils, which in our area is not a problem. So 6.0, 6.8 is optimum. And then soil composition, people, folk, uh, gardeners need to remember that soil needs both mineral and organic components for a nice loamy soil. So that's a little bit about calcium in soils. Well, wow, lots of information. Lots of information in a <laughs> short of period of time. <laughs> well, we really thank you for joining sure us thing. today, Carrie. Uh, 